MTD Network are at RK Engineering Atherston in the Midlands. Now, they are known for their fixed head work, their milling work, but latest investment? Uh, Citizen L32. With LFE as well? With LFE, yeah. Okay, so fantastic machine. Your first foray into this type, into sliding head work? It is, yeah. We've always been fixed head laves and millers before. Okay. And easy transition? Uh, it has actually, yeah. It, easier than we thought it would be. Okay, so what we're doing though is showcasing what you can do on this machine because ultimately you're looking for more work to fill this machine and, and possibly get some more. Yeah, of course. I mean, the way this goes through work, we need to fill it all the time. Yeah, it eats it. Well, let's have a look at some examples. If you could talk us through, there's three different examples here. Yeah, this is a part we were already making on a fixed head, but it was taking us uh, three different uh, operations. So it was quite labour intensive and there weren't slow but they weren't the fastest part either to make. So with this sliding head machine, reduce the cycle time? Massively reduce the cycle time, yes. Okay. And it's all coming off complete. Right. So before three, three, operations, three operations, probably not as accurate? Uh, no, we were getting accuracy but obviously being finished all in one without moving machines, yeah. greater accuracy. And also, just look at the, I mean, in, in here, for example, you've got the taper board, no problem with doing that, and the surface finish? No, we're getting the surface finish as we can now run at 8,000 RPM on, on here, whereas we were stuck at 4,000 before on our fixed heads. Okay, so it's a quick, accurate, faster, and, yeah. and nice looking part in terms of surface finish. Yeah. yeah, the finishes we're getting are fantastic, but the tolerances we're holding is a big plus. Okay. Now, next part then, please, Tom. Yeah, we've got a, a shaft here that we were previously making and we lost this part uh, just down to price. Uh, before we were having to make two turning operations of it and then round to the milling shop and having the slot in, but it was also then going out to grinding. So essentially a, four a operations. External cost, yeah, basically four operations. How many operations now? One. That's coming off complete. Okay, so that's just accuracy, surface finish, the, the whole lot? The whole lot, it's got the whole lot, yeah. Okay. So that's make it, is, I'm going to, you know, rhetorical question here, is it making you more cost effective, more efficient and more competitive? It's certainly making us uh, more competitive and yeah, it's cost efficient because we're not putting it on three machines now. Okay. And one final part you want to showcase then? Yeah. And this is work you've actually won since a, you've had the slider? Yeah, this was a new part we won due to having the slider, just 304 stainless. But even a simple part like this would have been two operations for us before. I mean, that's got sliding head work written all over it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was a batch of 5,000 off. So okay. it's perfect for a machine like this. And this machine you could run 24-7 as well if required, so really, really efficient. That's one of the yeah. big reasons we bought it, running lights out, yeah. Okay. There you go. Quick showcase of components. We've got RK Engineering in Atherston.